Danielle Krissa is a designer and creative director who found a way to turn the jealousy she was feeling towards other artists into admiration with her extremely popular blog, The Jealous Curator. The blog has been the source of inspiration for other artists and has spawned her books, Creative Block, and her latest release, Collage. And Danielle joins me now. Good morning. Hi. So let's talk about that for a second, um, how The Jealous Curator came to be and why it's called that. Well, um, I went to art school. <clears throat> I did not fit in. I had a really, really hard time. And uh, I graduated, but then ended up going to design school where I completely fit in and found my people. Um, and so I just sort of ignored art for a really long time, but I always still secretly loved it. Um, and so when my son was born, I took a few years off from advertising and design and started trying to get back into art. Well, not only had my son been born, but so had the internet. So I found all of these artists, thousands that, that I loved, and um, it, it kind of inspired me for a minute and then completely crushed me because I just felt like everything had been done and it was totally depressing. And so my husband actually, who happens to be a social media strategist, mm -hmm. said you should start a blog and turn this toxic jealousy that's sort of eating you alive into something positive. Turn it, you know, if you say it out loud, it will become admiration. And so I called it the jealous curator because that's what I was. I was a jealous curator. If you get blocked, if you have an inner critic, it just means you're part of a very cool creative club. A human club. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, you cannot have a creative block if you're not creative. So I've started thinking of these negative things as almost scout badges that you can earn, you know, so you kind of get your, um, my inner critic is a jerk badge, put it on, wear it with pride, you know, um, burned by a critic badge, put it on. Because all of these amazing, working, successful artists all are wearing that badge too. There's no shame in it. You shouldn't hide it away. Um, put on the badge and own it. And then once you've owned it, play and experiment and make. Don't stop yourself. After that critique with that prof, I stopped for years and years. And that was my fault. He didn't stop me, I stopped me. And so I now probably wear that badge and I make and I make and I make. final ingredient, a truckload of thank yous, even if you have to say it through clenched teeth. So when someone says your work is great, take a deep breath and smile and say thank you, instead of giving them a giant list of reasons why they're wrong. <laughs> Um, the more you practice doing this, the easier it becomes, and it's actually an incredibly great way to trick your inner critic <laughs> um, into thinking that maybe he shouldn't slam you quite so often. Um, and finally, when someone says, oh, you're so humble, don't blush and wave your hands around like this. Just take a deep breath, smile, and say thank you. Thank you. Mornings Vancouver on April 3rd. Oh. I didn't say humility and I didn't say jealous curator. Do it again. Do it again. I love though. I love I would love to see that video posted where it's like oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag humility. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. There we go. Good, let's do that. Yeah. I, that wouldn't bother me at all actually. But then go, oh. Come on. Really?